Hey folks, it's me again. Um, having more fun at work. What it is, we've got a 40 MP centrifugal trash pump that's quit priming, or quit pumping anyway, it lost prime. It's been losing prime over the past couple of days, but it's been real easy to pick up. But we don't know why it's lost prime, so we decided to take it apart. And I just want to show you what the inside of a well-worn 40 MP hydromatic trash pump looks like. So uh, let's go have a look. Um, that one over there. I'm gonna have to get the flashlight. All right. All right. That's the impeller. As you can see, it's showing a good bit of wear. Uh, it's been in there. Okay. Whoa, about lost flashlight. And inside. I can't spin it over. Well, anyhow, see the, see where it's wore out right there? So, um, anyhow, that's the impeller. And the loot's got a lot of wear in it. Uh, but this is this is the uh, wear plate and this is a custom made wear plate I made it several years ago but I don't know if you'll be able to see right inside there it's showing anyway it's showing a lot of a lot of wear so rummaging through our pile of spare parts we found this one and Though it's showing a good bit of wear, I'm thinking it's going to do us better. So we're going to put it up and reprime and hope that that takes care of it. Uh, if it doesn't, then I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, there's the pump. It's haven't been into it in several years, so for us to get this amount of wear out of a pump's really good for us. We have a, have a, a, they call it a grit problem, but it's actually, we get a lot of sand in there, in the, in the station. But, but you see there's the, uh, there's a little check valve behind there. It's holding good. We haven't broken the seal, so maybe it'll help with the prime when we get it put back together. But anyhow. Once again, just something I do, so y'all take care, and if I find something else that I think might be interesting, I'll post it also. Bye-bye.